Welcome to another episode of the world of plein air painting through the lens of the Hughes Skelly Gallery. I'm your co-host, Lisa Skelly. I'm Deborah Hughes, and today we're going to be talking about the artist's role as a conservationist and an historian. It's a wonderful thing to travel to plein air events and act as a steward of the land, help to raise funds to protect lands, and also even for schools and all sorts of programs. We capture vanishing landscapes we capture ranches before they turn to vineyards. We capture hillsides before they turn to houses. So it's really quite an honor to be involved in being stewards of the land and capturing these things in paintings so that people then can have them on their walls and be more respectful toward their environment. So I'm excited that I got to share in this adventure and follow you and tag along with you and Kim Lordier on this adventure on the wild side of Catalina. And during this episode, we're gonna share with you the adventures with Deborah and Kim on the wild side of Catalina. Documenting the land is a big part of what makes plein air painting so important. As plein air artists, we are historians and conservationists. Today, we are bringing you special insight and remarkable footage with some of the Hughes Skelly Gallery artists that had a unique opportunity and invitation to paint the protected lands of the wild side of Catalina. Artists throughout history have documented the outdoors and through this empathy for the landscape, they become conservationists. Join us for this riveting segment on location with Deborah Hughes and Kim Lordier. Let's go check out and see how Deborah and Kim are doing on their paintings of this beautiful scene behind me. Come on with me. second year I've painted the airport in the sky but I have always wanted to paint the gate to um, Escondido Road and I've uh, never done it so that was my intent this morning and then uh, we've had these just amazing beautiful uh, dramatic skies and uh, when I started that heavy deep purple was right behind the light struck light on the uh, corner of the hangar there and it was it was a drama so so what does it mean to you or for you Deborah that you get to paint and get invited by the Catalina Island Conservancy and document these protected lands. Well, it's an honor to be out here because no one really gets to come in this area unless you have um, passes for the Conservancy. And so we're fortunate to get to see this undisturbed land and capture it in our paintings to share with other people. Um, we do have hikers and bikers, but that's it. There's no really other vehicles or anything. And it's so beautiful. It's hard to even describe the way the light, you know, goes to one landmass and then the next, and then it switches back. And you can see the ocean, you know, from either side of the island, obviously, because we're surrounded by water. But um, to be able to pass along the beauty of the heritage of this land and have it still be undisturbed um, and to capture it on canvas is, is a real treat. And a real historic um, opportunity to um, share with future generations how we are the stewards of our planet Earth and protected lands like this. So thank you, Deborah, for sharing your beautiful painting with our guests at Plein Air Live. When looking for inspiration in our next location, we have only a few short days to create multiple beautiful paintings for the Conservancy 
and make the most of this special trip. Sometimes we barely get 10 feet before stopping to take more reference photos and decide on an incredible vista that takes our breath away. And we have to get out our pastel boxes and set up to paint the beautiful wild side of Catalina. share with you now a special message from Michael Overmeyer, featured artist at the Hughes Skelly Gallery and invited artist to the Catalina Conservancy Wild Side Show many times over. Hello, I'm Michael Obermeyer, based here in Laguna Beach, California. One of the things that drew me to plein air painting over 25 years ago was my love of the outdoors. To be able to be outdoors painting was a marriage of two things that I love to do the most. Um, my first show as a plein air painter was a museum show that raised money and awareness for the Newport Back Bay Ecological Reserve. And from that point on, I realized that as a painter, I was doing more than just painting for myself and enjoying the outdoors, but I could also bring awareness and educate the public a little about some of this open space that was dwindling around me. For the past 25 years, I myself have been able to paint for the Catalina Island Conservancy, the Nature Conservancy, the California State Parks, and various land trusts through different plein air organizations. I think that uh, as plein air painters, we're more than just outdoors documenting this beautiful land around us, but we're also educating and bringing awareness to the public through our unique vision as artists. And that's a good thing. One of the most rewarding aspects of being a plein air painter is being completely immersed in the process and having all of your senses engaged. But as much as we plan and prepare for successful paintings, sometimes we have to stop and change directions for nature surprises us in magical ways and we stand in awe and take notice and if we're listening we stop and enjoy the moment Do you think that our viewers and the attendees of Plein Air Live enjoyed our adventures on Catalina as much as we did? I sure hope so. It was a wonderful experience and thanks to the Catalina Conservancy for trusting us to travel through the wild side of the back side of the island and capture it for future generations. Well, I had a blast and we're so glad that you joined us today. Look for us again tomorrow as we bring you more adventures in Plein Air painting. That's right, don't forget to sign up at the Vendor Hall to win some of our prizes and take a moment to explore HughesSkellyGallery.com.